Hi everyone. In this new video, I'm going to tell you how you can limit the creation of environments in the Power Platform Admin Center to only the admins. So let's just move into it and uh, go to my desktop. So here we are in the Power Platform Admin Center. You can go here by going to your environment and then select the gear icon on the top right corner and select Power Platform Admin Center or Admin Center for short. And then you will end up here. But there's also a way you can do this by a short URL. And that short URL is aka.ms slash PPAC. PPAC stands for Power Platform Admin Center. So again, aka.ms slash PPAC. That will lead you to this page and you will see all your environments in there. Just like I see now, when I select a gear icon on the top right corner, I can select Power Platform Settings. And when I select that, I only are, I'm only able to limit the creation of production and trial environments. There's no other options here. It's just these two. So what you can see here is that I limited the creation of production environments to only specific admins and the trial environments are available for everyone. So everybody can create trial environments. For me, it doesn't really make sense to select only specific admins for trial environments because I'm okay with everybody creating trial environments because they will get deleted in 30 days anyway. So um, if you hover the eye icon next to the only specific admins text, you can see that when you select this option, the restriction of environment creation only applies to everyone else and not the global admins, the Dynamics 365 service admins, and the Power Platform service admins, as well as the delegated admins. So these roles still can create production environments, but uh, everyone else can't. So when I click save here, the settings get updated successfully. You can see that. So when you have changed something, you will make sure that uh, settings updated successfully is there. And then you can close this down, close it down, and your settings will be in effect. If you select um, the link that's um, in the pop-up here, um, you can select learn more. Then you will end up on this page and that's the control who can create and manage environments in the Power Platform Admin Center. It will show you how you can just create this or select this. And there's also another thing here, and that's the set tenant settings commandlet. And if you already saw my video from last week, then uh, you have seen the set tenant settings commandlet in effect already. It's also possible to do that by PowerShell, of course, but you can also do that through the UI, whatever you prefer. So with that, we came to the end of our video and I hope you liked it uh, and I hope to see you at the next video. Bye-bye.